Okay, this video is about how to use map.army for Kriegspiel as a player. So the first thing you want to do is go to map.army. Uh, you don't need a .com or anything. And you should see something like this. Uh, if it looks, the map looks different than this, you can click on this option here, or this button here, to go to the settings, and you can change all sorts of things. Uh, this here I have set to satellite, but you have a bunch of other options. Uh, and the coordinate grid setting I have to MGRS, which is the Military Grid Reference System, uh, which is a metric grid, uh, which you can learn more about how to use specifically. But this will be the standard grid system. Now, to load uh, the specific map, you should get an overlay from the umpire. So you'll click this load button up here in your layer menu. And then you will click on, uh, uh, you'll get a file browser, I, you probably don't see it because of the way that it's recording right now, but I'll type in, just look up my player handout, um, and you will uh, be able to bring that into the game here. So you just click on that. And that will load in. And it should zoom you automatically to where everything is. But if it doesn't, then it should be pretty obvious from looking at the map that it's right there. So you can zoom in and see all your things. So here is everything. Uh, if you want to add new pieces, like let's say you spot something, you can click on this button here uh, and pick a whatever you want. You can switch this between friendly and enemy by clicking on this, and then you get your blue friendly, uh, red hostile, yellow unknown, or green for neutral or allied, and then you can click on hostile come back over here and you'll see everything's changed and you can put those guys in where you see them. So let's say we see them here. We can click on him and we can click on this button to edit him. Uh, so this has a few options. The most useful is this one, which let you change the size of it. So you can say a squad, you can say a platoon, uh, and then up here you can say you can click on this button, modifiers, name a special city headquarters to add text to the middle. And if you hit apply, there it goes. Um, if you want to edit, that's editing the piece. Uh, if you want to update your map uh, and move your stuff around, um, let's say you get a screenshot that looks something like this, and you're the A co player. Okay, you got 1A at this corner and 2A at that corner of this building. So I can grab him, move him there, grab him, move him there. I have. Uh, 3A and HQ in the woods, kind of parallel right there. So we'll grab 3A and HQ, put them there. This guy doesn't exist, we'll delete him. Um, and then there's some friendly forces over here too. So we got 4B and 5B. So drag him like that, and drag him like that, and there we go. Um, Lastly, if you want to make orders, you have two options. Uh, one, you can just screenshot it using Control shift s on Windows, brings up the snipping tool, um, and then you can draw on that. Or, you can get fancy, come over here and click on Tactical Graphics, switch back, back to Friend, Tactical Graphics. Uh, you can, for example, go to Offensive Lines and you have all these arrows and stuff, and you can say, okay, I want this guy to come to Countdown 20. So the arrows start where the arrow ends, so you click there, and then the further back you drag, the bigger the arrow is, so let's say we want like that, and we just do something like that, and then you just right click to end it. And if you want, you can click on this, and you can move those midpoints around, and you have editing tools down here to add and subtract and delete and stuff like that. Um, and that is really it. Uh, it's a pretty straightforward thing to use. Um, oh, one more thing. If you come up here and you click on this button, it lets you download a current set of layers. So you can click this to download all of them, or you can just download a couple of them if you wanted to for some reason. And then if you hit this, it'll just save that, as you can see here, layer collection, collection dot whatever. Um, and if you want to load that in the future, let's say we delete everything here, we can load that same one we just did. And here it all is. Um, the only other thing that I want to show you is if you click on this button here, where it says 3D, it gives you a little zooming animation, 
and then you can view the map in three dimensions with contour lines. If you hold control and click, you can rotate the camera, you can zoom in with the scroll wheel, um, and there's a whole different set of 3D settings here. So you can change the terrain exaggeration to make everything look taller. If you're on a flat area and you need to see the differences, you can change the contour spacing, all sorts of stuff. And you click these little buttons to reset the values. Uh, all right, that's basically it. Hopefully that helps.